are back at North Wilkesboro, North Carolina, where the field is rolling out for the start of today's 400 lap race on this .625 mile racetrack. And just as the field comes all around turn number four, the sunshine peeks through, helping warm things here. Bill Elliott leads him down, Benny Parsons on the outside, the green flag flies, and the first Union 400 Winston Cup race from North Wilkesboro is underway. Everybody nice as Bill Elliott has the lead and Dale Earnhardt has jumped into second position followed by Benny Parsons and Bobby Allison. Alrighty, everyone, welcome to the Ant Energy LLC American Metal Professionals. Back out here with you with the late models once again. Again, qualifying underway right now. It's been a little bit of a lengthy qualifying here. We've kind of been waiting a little bit. Running two car qualifying, and right now, top of the board earlier on in the session, Joey Reader put it to the top of the board. We got 1986 Brian Wax there as well. Carson Rourke, Canyon, Cannon Cochran is there as well. Taking a look there, Stephen Bradley, Brady, top of the board, Dawson Fletcher, Ca Fletcher, Cardin Co Cochran up there also. Brady Cornett and Garrett there is yet to qualify. Nick Quinn, Scott Smith, Warren, and Joshua Hessen and BJ Sheldon. Jason Korn get to qualify, along with Lucas Rourke, Hunter Poston, Jacob, and back there as well. So that's the cars yet to qualify as we're getting ready to go here at Knoxville Speedway. And again, second race of the night here. First one of the UMPs we just finished up a little while ago it was pretty fun, pretty good racing over at Eldora. We make our way to Knoxville now for the late models and what they can do here will be interesting again 40 laps here tonight we've got quite a few cars in here looks like we've got 11 12 13 14 about 18 or so cars out there ready to go racing here in a little bit taking a look here at nick quinn on track right now he's going to be qualifying his way in in the number 007 aka the seven machine Right there on track, Nick Quinn, good run for him. And right now he's the only car on track, and he's using that middle lane, which tends to be really good here at Knoxville. You don't really want to be up by the wall a lot of times. A lot of times you want to be right there in the middle as you work your way through. Of course, you got that big berm there below you. But you have to negotiate around as well. They got five minutes to wrap up qualifying here. If anybody can knock Joey off the pole as we head towards heat number one, as we get everybody ready to go in the LLC 
state model division for the National Late Model Series here tonight on Extreme Sim TV. We got just a little bit to go here. Five minutes even left. Going to be five minutes on the clock left here. As the racetrack is clear. See who Race Control sends out next. Uh, is Race Control handling the qualifying here? I'm still showing a couple of cars not taking time. And let's see what they decide to do. Right now. A couple of cars not taking time. Folks, I believe it's messing with the overlay here. So what I'm going to do, step away for just a moment. Try to fix it. Guys, he's qualified to a Qualifying in this manner usually does this. So bear with me here in just a moment. And I'll be right back with you. As we're back here qualifying still underway here There's still missing a few cars now kind of filling in the gaps right now and I see. unfortunately it looks like they're in another session it's broken it down in two can't physically put their cars on the racetrack again Joey Tom of the board great job by him Putting it on the pole, Nick Quinn as well, Lucas Rourke there also. Good run. Just a couple more cars to time in, including Garrett, Joshua Hessen, and looks like Joshua Hessen is going to be the last one to time in here in just a moment. And we'll get them right over to your quality, to your heat racing in just one moment here. 19 cars showing up here tonight. Everybody should make the, the feature here. For 40 laps at Knoxville. In theory, everybody should make it. So that's good, at least to know everybody's going to make their way in. Admin still got about two minutes to play with on the qualifying clock. We get them rolling here. And of course, we head over to the ARCA series over in Phoenix here at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, that is at 7 p.m. Eastern. Arco will be underway here on the channel. We got a minute and 42 seconds left. We're still holding out on Joshua Hessen. See what he can post time wise. Minute and 31 now remaining on the qualifying clock. And again, the heat number one will shortly follow after that. That's about where we're at here tonight. Still letting it tick down. Now to a minute and 15 seconds. Of course, Joshua Hessen just had a really good run over in the UMP series. Bringing home a top three finish. Great job by him. Now he's going to take a stab at it here in the late models. See what he can come up with as well. So Joshua doing double duty here tonight. See how that works out for him. See if he can have as good a finish in this series as he did. And the UMPs, heat one, and we're going to be done qualifying. You see, all with times. And we're going to get heat number one gridded up. We're going to run nine, ten cars this heat. It's going to make it nine cars in the next one. Let's take a look at your starting grid. Heat number one brought to you by FSM Customs, Julie Reeder and Lucas Rourke on the front row here for heat number one. Row number two, Hunter Poston and Warren 
Moore in there in fourth. Dawson Fletcher, Jason Corn, Cardin, Cardin, yeah, Cochran and Bray, Brady Cornette as well. Right there also Garrett there in ninth. Joshua has fifth. Row at number six. Don't look like anybody's going to be there. And that will be it. So we'll get them lined up here. Heat number one. The Amp Energy LLC American Metal Professionals. Late models coming out on the racetrack right now. Getting ready to go for heat number one. We'll have nine, co ten cars officially in this heat. Nine cars in the next next one. However, Joshua Hessen is not rolling off the of pit road. Doesn't look like he'll make the start of heat number one. We'll have to follow that story as we go later on in the night and see how that develops. The front row, Reader, Rourke, Poston, Warren, Fletcher, Corn, Cochran, Cornett, and Garrett, your top nine. Garrett Zacharias back there as well. As we get ready to go green. Again, this will be heat number one here tonight of at least two. Not sure that we'll have a consolation, but we'll find out. As pay strokes get ready to go down pit road. Don't let these cars loose for your first of two at least heat races. Here tonight, pay truck going to dive down pit road in Knoxville. And we are getting ready to go green at Knoxville. Here we go. Heat number one underway. Eight laps for the first one. Immediately three wide behind them. Great racing off into turn number one, two and three wide to 71. Pitching down to Dawson Fletcher. He's going to be on the very inside down the back straight away. Fletcher trying to make it work here. Dawson Fletcher right around the bottom trying to pick up some spots. He'll do so. He'll move up to fourth. Meanwhile, Joey Reeder up front hanging on right now as he's going to have to his back bumper, Lucas, War Lucas Rourke and Warren right there as well. Three cars under a blanket here at the top of the field. Great run by the top three as they run right now. Top three working their way through the 71 machine. Going to be dropping back at Dawson Fletcher. Fletcher trying to hang on here. He's right there with the 58. Hunter Post and Post and pulling away. Six laps to go here in heat number one right now. Post and doing a great job running his line. Staying right with him there in the 58 machine. Reader. Trying to gain on Gary Zacharias. Zacharias, or excuse me, Gary Zacharias, Zacharias on pit road. Uh, Mr. Lucas Rourke, they're gaining on Joey Reader. Reader up front, Joey hanging on. Right behind him, Warren and Post in there as well. Great racing up front. Coming to four laps to go. Four to go in heat number one. We're going to be halfway through. Reader pulling away. Let's hop on board, your race leader. As he works his way through traffic here and hangs on to this race bet lead, looking back at the pack right there behind him. Great racing here. Well, great look on board as they head off into three and four right now. Reader just doing a great job hanging on. A couple more cars right there behind him. Joey Reader lead, leading the way. Lucas Short, Warren back there as well. Three laps to go, coming to two this time by. Warren and Hunter posting right there. Cardin, Cochran right there as well. Cardin trying to make it work. Cars outside wall there, back in the back. That's going to be Dawson Fletcher involved with that. A little bit of left, right, or right rear damage on the 71. Now he'll slide up and collect the two of Brady Cornette. Cornette hanging on to it as well. Final lap, battle for six. Dawson Fletcher is going to grab the spot here for P6. Meanwhile, up front, Joey Reeder, nothing to worry about. Is he's going to come up turn four to take the win in heat number one. Lucas Rourke and Warren comes home second and third to wrap up heat number one here tonight. And the Amp Energy LLC American Series once again. And here we go. Taking a look 
at your starting lineup for heat number two. It's going to go as follows. Nick Quinn along with a brave Ryan Wax. Out there as well second. Third, Carson Rourke and Cannon Cochran there as well. Fifth row, that's going to be Stephen Brady and B.J. Sheldon. Fifth row, or fourth row, excuse me, Jacob Jameer and Mr. Scott Smith there as well. And uh, they rounds out the field. So there we go. As the field will work their way through, Nick Quinn uh, will bring them to green in the second eight-lap heat of the evening. The Amp Energy LLC American Medical Professional Super Late Models, or excuse me, Pro Late Limited Late Model Series. Uh, like a talk. They get ready to go green once again. <laughs> Coming to what will be an eight lap heat, of course, here tonight at Knoxville. So, eight lap heat here to get it worked out and we'll roll into our feature of it here in just a little bit again Nick Quinn pretty strong on the bottom here for this second heat he'll start from the front row expect him to try to pull away how to slide that car into one and two get clear and pull away Brian right there as well Carson Fork there also and Cannon Cochran in four top four very strong cars as we come off the of turn number four and ready, ready, put it in the air. We're back on the way. Contact immediately up front. But Quinn's going to try to pull away. He does a great job. He hangs on to it side by side behind him. Cochran outside wall. He's going to collect the 14. Cochran's going to get pinched in the outside wall. And it's going to be a mess down here in turn right, four. Man, caution is out. Caution, caution is, is out. out. And that 14 is not going to wax. Is not happy. But Cannon Cochran, Cannon Cochran just blew the corner, got up there into Wax, pinched him in the outside wall, or excuse me, uh, Wax got kind of caught up, but Cannon kind of blew the corner, slid up, got in the outside wall, and it looks like the 14 slid up as well, and they all just came together in a mess down here in turn three. Not sure why the 14 would be unhappy with hand in there. Cochran did get in the outside wall, but the 14 kind of come up on him as well as the first caution of the night flies. And it's going to come here in heat number two. So we'll take the green flag again with seven laps to go. We'll get it back underway. So it'll be seven laps to go here when we do get them back going. And oh man, this is going to be interesting to how this plays out. Nick Quinn, Brian Wax, and Carson Rourke will be your top five here for this restart. So when we get ready to go, it will be about eight laps to go for the restart here. Nick Quinn, Brian Wax, and Carson Rourke, your top three. Their top three not changing much at all here at Knoxville. See Brian right there. Nick Quinn still leading the way. And caution laps do not count in this series. Green flag, green flag. And green is out there. It goes messing with the other way again. Back on their way side by side. Nick Quinn pulling away. Seven laps to go. Carson Rourke right there as well. Right, man. Trying to out. work his Caution way. Trouble out. back in the pack. That's going to be Cam Cannon Cochran as again. Problems. Let's take a look at here. What happened to Cannon? And oh, man. Cochran just got into another one there. Doesn't look like he can do much about it, but yellow out nonetheless. And right now, we're setting seven laps to go in heat number two. Seven to go heat number two here tonight.
So Cochran doing everything he can, but just getting caught up into incidences here. Mainly not if, you know, you make one mistake, it snowballs, and this is where you end up just getting wrapped up in everything. I've had a night where it's happened to me, one thing leads to another. Next thing you know, you're kind of in a mess. A lot still on the eye racing pace truck right now. Seven laps to go. Under caution. Once again, caution laps do not count. The Amp Energy LLC, American Medical Metal Professionals, late models. And of course, the National Late Model Series runs multiple different series. UMPs being one of them. This one's another one that they do run. Always fun, as always, to come out and cover these on Sundays. Of course, coming up next, the iRacing Sunday night for Elite heads over to Phoenix for the Wild West 105. Their ARCA division, I might add, should be fun. 105 laps, no cautions in that one. Tires will be a big deal when we go there here in just a little while. So make sure and stick around for that one as well. Coming to six to go this time by. This is where we're at. We're going to come to six to go in heat number two. Flag, Put flag. the green flag in the air, back on our way. Hit Quinn out front. Brian and Wax second. Carson Bork in third. BJ Sheldon of fourth. Jacob fifth. That's the way they run right now with six to go in heat two. Six to go heat two. Everybody hanging on. Oh, the 22 sideways. Ross hanging on to that one right now. Nick Quinn out in front. Trying to hold off Brian Wax. Brian trying to pull him in. Carson Rourke back there as well. Trying to run the top two down also. What's going to be four right, to go this time? By Calm caution on the racetrack once again. And we'll see if we can find what happened. Caution out. And it's going to be Scott Smith getting tagged. By Cochran, and once again, Cochran involved in another one. Folks, we're going to go to commercial break here. We'll be back for the last four laps of heat number two here tonight. here again as we're still under caution getting ready for a four lap shootout here in heat number two lights off the top of the eye racing pace truck time to go racing once again with four laps to go here we go four to go heat number two race getting ready to get underway once again pace truck is off Nick Quinn will bring them down up Brian Wax second. Here we go. Green is in the air. We're back on our way once again. Everybody back up to speed. Nick Quinn pulls away Brian right there behind him. Coming to three laps to go this time by. Carson Rourke, BJ Sheldon back there as well. Behind them, Jacob, Steve, Steven, Price, Smith, all these guys back here in a wad off a of turn number four. Beating and banging, they still got three laps to go. A little bit of contact up there. That's the 22 getting involved at the 19. Here comes Cochran once again. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, they're going to make it work. No, they're not. Right, Either Cochran's going to be out. out. Cochran tried to put the car where the car wouldn't fit. And Yelmo is out. 
man cannon, buddy. See the 28, they're already three wide in front of him. He just goes for a broke, goes nearly four wide. Gets in the side of double zero. And then, man, there's not enough room to make that work. Brings the caution out with three to go. And three to go once again. Back under caution. As everybody gets ready to go. And we'll, and we'll get them lined back up. And now Checkered's gonna fly. We're actually not gonna go back green. This is gonna end <laughs> under a caution here. Yellow flag waves give the wind to Nick Quinn here. The caution out. Yellow and checkered for the seven zero zero seven and Nick Quinn. And it looks like we're gonna run a B main here tonight. It's gonna be ten laps for your B. And we'll take a look at your starting line up here. And taking a look right now. Row number one, Joey Reader and Mr. Nick Quinn. Row number two, Lucas Rourke and Brian Wax. Row number three, Hunter Postman and Carson Rourke. Row number four, Warren and Cannon Cochran. Dawson Fletcher and Stephen Bradley. So here we go. As we get ready to go green once again, well, let's do that one more time. Something don't feel right about that lineup, I don't think. There we go. Jason Corn starts for row number one. Scott Smith second. Dawson Fletcher third. Ross fourth. Fifth Brady Cornett. Cannon Cocker in sixth. Harden Cocker and starts seventh. Stephen eighth. Ninth is Garrett Zacharias and Jacob there tenth. Joshua Hessen rounds out uh, the 11 car B main deal. Now we got it right. We'll get ready to go racing for 10 laps. Horn out front to bring them to green. And we'll see if Cannon Cochran has any better luck here this race in the 28C machine. Cannon back there is beating the brakes off that car tonight because we're coming to green this time by here we go coming to green in your B main in just one moment again lots are out on the I racing pace car we will bring them to green in just a moment Here we go. Again, the lights out on the IRAC pace truck. Getting ready to turn them loose in one moment. Should be able to find a green, green flag in the air. Jason Corn, great start. Stacking up behind them, though. That is going to be Scott back here in the mix of all of this. Scott Smith trying to work his way forward, two and three wide. Here's right there. Here comes Cannon in the 28. And then Cochran right there alongside Carter Cochran, side by side. Now three wide, four wide, car around. All right, man. Put it out. The yellow's out. out. Coming to the line to go. So oh, a yellow out here in the B main once again. The yellow back out, out front. Jason Corn leads the way. No surprise there. That car got turned around. No voice to have the yellow come out. He had traffic right there behind him. Caution out here. And out of this event is going to be Garrett Zacharias and Joshua Hessen. Not start or out of this race right now. So that's where we're at with this. Is we're getting ready to go once again. The 10 laps or to 9 to go for the restart. I mean, it will be nine laps to go when we get a restart here. 
from Knoxville Speedway. So, coming to nine laps to go. Heat number two, Jason Korn, Dawson Fletcher, and Price. Your top three. We'll wait to see if the lights go off on the pace truck. Indeed, they do. So Jason Corn will bring them back around one more time. We'll get them back under green with nine to go. Here we go. Nine laps to go this time by. Everybody coming back up to speed. Jason Corn, Corn bringing them down. Rice right there as well to the outside. Dawson Fletcher. Green, green, green. Green flag back in the air. Nine to go. Great start for Corn out in front with nine laps to go. Corn, great start. Look at the 28 right down there on the berm. Really trying to find some ground as Cannon. And then Cochran right down there against the firm, man. He was up on that thing. Trying to look for room, and they're going to get around him on the top side. And Snow see that car making much room down there. He's going to switch lanes. He'll go back to the top now, the 22 below him. He'll have to straighten that mess out. They do. Out in front of them, Carded and Cochran as well. Carded doing a great job leading Can Cannon Cochran. Those two going at it. Here comes Cardin to make the move for a second. Underneath Cornette, Cochran runs Cornette up into the, into the fence. Now it's going to be third and fourth. Cardin and Cannon Cochran running one behind the other right now. Coming to six laps to go out in front. Jason Corn trying to hold off Dawson Fletcher. Fletcher trying to put some pressure. That's the way they run right now. Here we go. Fletcher and Corn, top of the field. Coming to five to go in your B main right now. So five laps to go in your B main for this evening. And right now, Corn doing a great job. Holding on Fletcher. Not letting him get close enough to make a move. Corn, Fletcher, Cochran. And Cannon Cochran back there as well. One, two, three, four. With four laps to go. Dawson Fletcher right now. Three laps to go. Fletcher doing everything he can. Cochran right there as well. Cannon and Carter. One or three and four. Look at Fletcher trying to get by Corn. He's going to have two laps to go this time by. And I mean, he is right back on the back bumper of Corn. Corn doing a great job holding him off. Great race up front of the pack right now. Coming to the white flag. Look to the bottom for the 71 of Fletcher. Not going to be able to get it done. Couldn't get the traction down. He'll get it straightened back out. Man, oh man, oh man. This is going to be a battle. One lap to go. Horn, Fletcher is up front. Horn and Fletcher going at it side by side. Trying to hang on. Horn out in front. Fletcher loses the car. He's going to lose second. Excuse me, they got the strike. The checkered is out, but what a race. As Corrin gets the win, Fletcher comes home second and checkered out on the racetrack. So now with all the A's, B's, and heats done, or all the B main and heats are finished, let's get ready for your 40 lap feature here. Here is your starting lineup brought to you by FSM Customs. Joey Reader and Nick Quinn, along with Lucas Rourke and Brian Wax. Club number three, Warren and Carson Rourke. 
Row number four, Hunter Poston and BJ Sheldon. Row number five is Jason Korn and Dawson Fletcher. Row number six, Harden Cochran and Cannon Cocker. Row number seven here tonight, Ice and Smith. And row number eight, Cornette and Jacob. Row number nine is empty. We are good to go. And that's the way it's going to look for 40 laps here tonight. Here we go. 40 laps here to finish it off here this evening. But keep that in mind. Got 40 laps here. A long race for these guys. You got to take care of your equipment all race long. Try to not get caught up in any cautions. We think that be a problem as well. That's something that you don't want to have happen. As we roll through here, getting ready to go. And again, everybody just getting ready to turn it loose here tonight. What is going to be an interesting race at Knoxville? Getting ready to hit, get going here. Everybody getting up to speed. Right here in just one moment, you see, pace car will get ready to turn them loose in just a moment. Again, what should be what a fun here tonight. As you see, Joey bringing them down for the green flag. Joey brings them down in that double zero or zero one one machine. Green flag, green Coming flag. to green, we're underway from Knoxville. Three and four wide, immediately back in the back. We got a car in the inside wall. No caution as of yet. That's going to be Cornette, I believe, wrapped up in that one. Along with Jacob, but they're going to get away from it, looks like. As we turn into lap number one, you see them two and three wide. Meanwhile, back up front. Joey trying to get away from Nick Quinn. Nick Quinn sets in second. Man, great run around the bottom. Lucas Rourke down there as well, or up there as well. Lucas Rourke fighting his way through. He'll go to second now. Rourke doing a great job hanging on to the top side. One car right around that berm down there. That's a 5800 post and trying to get that bottom lane to work. Hunter doing a great job just working the inside right now. Posting and the 58 machine sets fifth. Again, trying to get that inside bottom lane to work for him right around the berm. Not really able to get the momentum right now to pull it off. A couple of cars side by side up above him. Everybody getting ready. Fire it down the back straight away once again. Reader out front. That's Joey Reader hanging on right now. Lucas Hort second. Nick Quinn third. As they run right now, four laps already in the books. We're in there in fifth also. Meanwhile, up front, look at ooh, look at Lucas bringing the fight to Reader. Reader trying to hang on. Reader on the bottom, Lucas Rourke on the top side, Rourke crossover, great run for Rourke on the bottom, he'll slide it off into one and two, clear, Lucas Rourke to the, to the race lead, behind them, the 5800 post, and is well working the bottom, or in the outside wall, deep in the pack. And the Cochran boys not having to run, they won it tonight, we're taking a look at Cardin Cochran back here in the pack and actually Cannon Cocker completely out of the mix here way back here in 16 not the night that he wanted to have I knew that for a fact meanwhile Lucas Rourke out front in the five racing right behind him including Joey Reader Reader right there with Nick Quinn as they work their way down the back straight away all right man caution now caution, caution on down. the racetrack eight laps complete and we'll try to figure out what has happened. Deploy the caution. Eight of 40 complete here tonight. First yellow of the evening. 
I mean, we know the Cochran boys are not having the run that they wanted to have here tonight. I do not think they were involved with this one. And as we got 33 laps to go in your feature event. 33 laps to go. Again, caution flag laps do not count as we fall in behind the eye racing pace truck. So, here we go once again, everybody getting ready. One more time. Lights atop the eye racing pace truck still shining bright. So we'll take one to go next time by get them back going here at Knoxville and again pretty good opening stint of eight eight laps some good racing so overall pretty good start to this one with what we've got left is eight or what we've got in the books of eight of 40. so we got 33 laps to go it'll be 32 when we restart and right now, Lucas Ann is up front, coming to one to go. Lucas Rourke, and Joey Reader, and Nick Quinn, your top three. That's your top three cars as they run right now. Getting ready for this restart here from Knoxville. We get ready to hop on board your race leader here with what will be 32 laps to go. And let's hop on board here as we get ready to go green. Green in the air once green again. Flag, flag. Back underway one more time. Great start up to the top side, 9 of 40 complete. Lucas doing a great job. He'll pull away for now. 32 to go, and yellow is out. We'll slow them back down. Caution is out on the racetrack. What happened here? Looks like that's a 19 of Jacob getting into trouble. Contact with the two of Brady Cornette to bring the caution back out. Cornette going around, yellow back out, lap number nine. Meanwhile, Lucas Rourke still up front. Folks, we'll step away for commercial break and we'll be right back with you here in just a moment. Green, green. back here with you up front right now. Lucas continues to hang on to the race lead. 
rap number 11 in the books. Again, that's a lap number 11 of 40 in the books right now. All right, man. Lucas Roark out, out front, out. yellow back out. Just as we got back up to speed, Lucas Roark sees the yellow flag fly once again. Lap number 11. Go back and see if we can find what happened. What happened here? Yellow flag flying there, pace truck coming out. And 11 laps in. Taking a look back through here, the 58. And Fletcher gets turned around hard. Man, oh man, a couple cars getting collected that pretty hard. Brings the caution back out. And it looks like Fletcher will, might be done for the night as he's on pit road here. Trying to get it sorted out lap number 11 of 40. Fletcher may be in a little bit of trouble here. He'll get it back out on the racing surface. As you see Lucas back here, lap still on the pace truck. Not ready to go green just yet. 11 out of 40 complete here tonight. 11 out of 40 complete. Now caution back as we get ready to go back green from the caution on the racetrack right now. So here we go, get ready to go green. No lap number 12 this time, Bob. Green flag, green flag. And there we go, back on the way. Great jump there for Lucas again. And Joey right there as well. Bad one is also great battle there for Joey as he fights his way through. Joey Reader back there, a couple of more cars there as well. You see them all fight for the top side. Nick win up here in the mix also. Great racing up front of the pack at the moment. Great racing, 13 of 40 complete. Hunter Poston back there. Brian back there. All these guys trying to fight their way through. 14 on the board this time by. Now Hunter Post and Carson Rourke back there as well. Look at Carson trying to hang on to work his way back forward. Lucas Rourke though doing a great job out front in the five machine. A couple of cars right there behind him, including Joey Reader. Joey, Joey trying to pick up some ground here up on the top side of the racetrack. Coming to 15 complete this time by three wide behind them. Hunter Poston back there in that race for third, fourth, and fifth. Hunter Poston right there in the 58 machine. Warren right there as well. Everybody's starting to get spread, spread out a little bit. See a Cannon Cochran back there with Brady. Brady Cornette back there as well. As they all work their way through, look at the 28 machine top of the racetrack. Cannon Cochran trying to get it done. And doing a great job about it. This Cannon Cochran picking up some ground. He wasn't having the best run earlier, but he's starting to pick it back up. Lucas Rourke Sr. out front right now. Lucas Rourke out front pulling away. 17 of 40 complete this time by. Lucas Rourke doing a great job, 18 on the board. Hearing our way towards halfway here in just a moment. We work our way back down into one and two. Rourke out in front, Joey Reeder there in second. See this mess back here with Dawson Fletcher. Fletcher in the 71 machine on the bottom. He's gonna have to give room to Brady Cochran or Brady Cornett on the top side. He'll do that and he'll give him a little bit extra room there. Coming to 19 to 40 complete right now. They're fighting their way through. Look at the bottom side. Jason Corn dropping his way back. Because we're coming to halfway this time by. We're going to be halfway through this one this time by here. With the, or next time by, it'll be 20 on the board, 20 to go as we work our way through. 
as we work our way through right now Lucas Rourke out in front and look at the lead that he's built up as he comes to take the cross flags with Nick Quinn there behind him Nick Quinn back there in second Brian Wax in third Joey Reader fourth or in fifth Hunter Poston in sixth now up to fifth with 20 laps to go we got 20 laps to go here tonight as we work our way through Right now, everybody doing everything they can. We got a couple of cars to the bottom here. The 58, one of the ones to the bottom of the racetrack. Hunter Poston trying to work his way forward. Right there is Brian Wax. Nick Quinn up there as well. 18 to go this time by. 18 to go for the National Late Model Series. The Amp Energy LLC. Eight. So here we go, kids. We keep them going right now. 17 to go this time by. And once we got all spread out, it's been some great racing, but Nick Quinn that hasn't got anything for Lucas Rourke right yet. Lucas Rourke pulling away with 17 now, 16 to go this time by. Lucas Rourke keeps his distance. As you can see, Lucas right up near the fence. Doing a great job. Just keeping that car going. With 16 laps to go here. Nick Quinn right there. Brian Wax back there in the mix. 19 one lap down. Hunter Poston back there. Trying to come up with something as well. Gonna be Hunter Poston there in the 58. Warren there in the 57. Dawson Fletcher back here in the 71. And a Cochran in the 20. Eight runs in eighth position. Carson Rourke back there in ninth, and Carden Cochran in tenth. The Cochran boy is still pretty deep in the field here tonight with 15 to go here at Knoxville. Coming to 14 this time by. They all fight their way through here. 13 to go this time by. We'll just work out in front. Just maintaining the race lead right now. Doesn't have much pressure right there behind him at all. Be able to just kind of roll with 13 laps to go here. 13 of the 40 left in this one. See right there as well. Cannon Cochran and Carson Rourke. One behind the other as well with 12 to go this time by. And right now, everybody just hugging the top of the racetrack. Completely lost the bottom of this racetrack. I don't see way anybody can make anything happen down there. As we fight our way through. And right now, 11 laps to go here tonight at Knoxville. So 11 laps to go right now. And up by the wall, they all stay. That's going to be Lucas, Nick, Wynn, all up to the top of the racetrack. Reader posting back there as well. With 10 laps to go. There's going to be 10 laps to go this time by. And we got to our way through now. Time to go at the stripe here. Great racing under nine laps to go. Focusing deeper on the pack. Of course, Joey right now in fourth. Nick Quinn up there as well. Doing everything they can to run down your race leader. It's just not working out for them. With eight laps to go here. So eight to go here right now. At Knoxville Raceway. So here we go. Everybody getting ready to go green once again. Luke or getting ready to finish this one off here for the second time. Seven laps to go. Lucas Rourke, Nick Quinn back there as well. Joey Reader back there also. 
under post and everybody pretty spread out for the most part right now the six laps to go the six to go up front Lucas Rourke doing a great job just maintaining the race lead and he has got a gap of 1.4 seconds with five laps to go but barring anything crazy happening he is in pretty good shape Ryan trying to hang on to position back here as well. Ryan doing a great job just trying to hang on to a spot back here as they work their way off the corner with five laps to go. And again, it's just taking your time here and trying to keep it on the corner of DW. And there is a caution with four to go. So this is going to change everything. It was tight enough field up. Restart should come with three laps to go here. When we get it here in just a moment, caution is out. Everything will tighten back up. And folks, we'll take a quick break in the booth and we'll come back for a shootout here at Knoxville. All right, here we go to end it out here at Knoxville. Single file restart, and we are green once again with three laps to go. Everybody up to the top side. Look at the gap that Lucas already has got. Great run by Lucas up to the top side. Nick Quinn there as well as they fought their way through. Three and four to the top. Lucas up front. Nick Quinn right there as well. Quinn trying to close the gap. Two laps to go. Two to go here. Quinn trying to get up to Lucas. Can he get there? That's going to be the question as they head down the front straightaway. White flag in here. One more time around. This time by when they see the white. Can he get there? That's going to be the question. White should be in the air right now. Everybody doing everything they can. Look up front. Lucas Rourke, Nick Quinn going at it right now off of turn number four. Are going to three and four. That was off of two, excuse me. Right now, Lucas doing everything he can to stay ahead. And right now, he'll get it done. Checkered flag in the air. Lucas Rourke gets it done here at Knoxville. Congratulations to him. We'll be right back for your poster.
All right, sorry, folks. Discord doesn't seem to be working for your post-race interviews. Nevertheless, a great race here at Knoxville. And, folks, we're going to get out of here and get ready to head over to Phoenix for the ARCA Series here in just a moment here on Extreme Sim TV as well. So we'll be right back with you here in just one moment. And, well, a little bit more in a moment, about an hour from now. But until then, everyone stay safe. Have a great night, and God bless.